What's up everyone, my name is Sal Sincata and we are in NOLA and we're gonna check out how I got this shot. All right, so here we are, we are on the streets of New Orleans and I saw this really cool funky wall, uh, but that's not the best of it. We were driving through some boutique, some, some boutique shop areas uh, and we saw this outfit. I kid you not, we had to pull over, jump out, buy the outfit. So I knew I wanted to shoot this and then with this wall, right, it's very kind of monochromatic, sketchy looking and we've got these big vibrant colors popping off. So what are the tools we're using here today? We've got the Canon EOS R5, we've got the 1535 lens, we've got the Pro Photo Connect. Everybody's always up in arms about this little thing. They either love it or hate it. I love it because I don't want to have this big monster trigger, right? I'm not in the studio. I don't need to control all these channels. I just need to fire a flash. I've also got the Pro Photo A1 with the Mag Mod Mag Sphere. Uh, but it looks like a little, little chef's pot. Uh, but what it's going to do is soften the life force. I love the magnetic uh, connector to this. So I use their normal speed light connector, throw it on the Pro Photo A1, and boom, we're going to soften that light, which is what we want for this. Uh, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna do some funky stuff. 1535 lens. I'm gonna shoot weird angles, right? It's fashion. Have some fun with it. Then I'm gonna go more to uh, a little bit more traditional compression with the 7200 lens. So let's get to it. Let's have some fun. Let's make some epic images. I would never shoot like this with a uh, wide angle lens getting that close to your subject. But again, it seems like fashion, anything goes. All right, so. Fashion, Brenda. So if you want to check out my bag, when I'm traveling, uh, obviously you got out of your charges, uh, but when I'm traveling, I, oh, I try to keep it in one bag when possible. So I've got all my lenses, uh, but I will also have a speed light here, some lighting adapters, uh, stuff I'm carrying from MagMod, some gels, things like that. Um, make it a lot easier to work in the field. Always have gap tape. Gap it. Anything goes wrong, you just gap it. All right, here we go. Uh, if you're wondering why we're using off-camera flash, it's because she's an open shade and it's just, it's flat light. And so with flat light, she's, I, I really need to make her pop a little. So I'm not really trying to blend it with, with the ambient. I want a little bit of uh, overpowering on the first set of shots, but now I'm gonna just try and fill with ambient so you, the flash isn't so pronounced. So let's do it. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Everybody, that's a wrap. I hope you love what we did. It's just proof for you that no matter where you are, no matter where you're traveling, you can always make cool images. And so pull over, find a cool wall, do something fun, be silly, right? And let's make some great images. Get at it. Mm -hmm.